Hello, my name's Quentin Brown, and in this video, I'm going to take you through the processes of creating dynamic and static QR codes. Now, the static QR codes are free. However, the dynamic codes go through a database, so there's a price for them. And as you can see here, they range from two dynamic QR codes for $22 a year, and very cheap. Works out about a dollar a month, uh, two months free. So let's just go back and log in. So basically when you come here, all your codes are listed here. So we just want to go to QR codes. And for your free ones, just go down to static QR codes. Then you have all the choices of the different uh, static ones you can have. Because they don't have any tracking, we don't need to use a dynamic QR code. Dynamic QR codes only go to websites that we can use and track. So let's just put in a quick YouTube here. So here's a product we just created for stay-at-home mums. So we just put in the URL, click Next, and then we can choose the style we want. Let's choose this one. I like to make sure it's 10. We can put a logo in. We can color them. I actually like to color them outside of the program because once you do it, uh, you can't change it. So we will just generate that now. And we would cover that in another tutorial for you. And so there's the code ready to go. I can now download it in an EPS SVG PDF. And remember, this is a static QR code. So if we now go home, and we go to our static QR codes, and we go down the page, it's storing them all in here. It tells us where it was sending it to. You can click on the actions and download. And so you can actually store all your free static QR codes in here. Now let's just go and create a dynamic code. This time we're going to call it track. And we'll put this in here. And then media is website. You can put in here brochure, whatever. Make sure you then click on that so it saves us. So as you can see here, you can put it in magazine, posters, etc. You can also use the Google UTM. So if you have Google Analytics on your website, you can go through here and create a UTM. And basically, how it works is if you say yes, you just put in this information and then it will give you a lot more statistics for your QR codes than you would get in our program. We just cover the very basics. And so then once you've done all that, we'll just say no to this, which is the default. And we don't have any sub-users. Um, you can add sub-users if you have a, a bigger account. And then just click on continue. I like to change this to 10. Again, click the one design you want. As I said, I like to do the coloring outside because then I don't have to regenerate it and lose all my stats. So then just click generate and there's the QR code. Now you can't see this, but I'm going to quickly scan it with my phone. And so it's gone there. So now we can just go to home. And here's our new one here, track, just click on it. And let's go down. And here you can see we've had one scan, page view, unique. In other words, it, they didn't come back and scan it a second time. We can set up goals. It went to the login page. It was an on Android phone. It's done in Australia. And the media we used was website. Now, if you change that, then it will take into account all the information. So we can now go back to that QR code here. We can edit. Now we can just change this URL because we want to test how Facebook goes when people scan it. All we do is edit. Let's go back. I'll just refresh that page. I'll scan it again. Now you'll see I've had two scans. Unique again, two page views, but now it's showing that I'm now going to this. So I keep all my old stats, 
but I get this uh, new stat and here I am again it's in Australia as I said we can only do very basic uh, visits however if you use the UTM you can get down pretty well to city so I live in Brisbane it would go to Brisbane it wouldn't show the suburb etc because they've cut all that out now but that's how you use it so you can create your static your dynamic can create groups you can do bulk ones uh, a lot of different information you can set up goals you can check your analytics over different uh, devices etc so at the moment we've got Android phone we haven't had anybody else but it will gather a lot of stats as time goes on so my name's Quentin Brown hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on track QR codes and we look forward to seeing you inside.